Okay, hello there. We are going to look at starting citizen this time. And uh, as you can see here, I am using Lutris. This is how Lutris looks like. I have installed Star Citizen and also Star Wars here. Two games. And it's working very good. So here you can see I have uh, Star Citizen installed on my system. So and I will show you here under configure after you have installed this one with the LUG helper that I prefer that you will use you must uh, uh, configure some options here first of all uh, if you read on uh, LUG helpers uh, github they will say at this moment that they prefer this one, the Wine-Lutris G Proton 7.2 version here and that's why I have this one here then also I have the DX, DX VKA Sync 1.2 for some reason the other versions is not working so good at this moment uh, also what I have done here uh, is that I have uh, put this key here just add the key here and I add dxvk underscore here async and the value is 1 this is because uh, else you can get a lot of stutter so to get that one to work you must have a dxvk version that is actually working for for your uh, with yeah, with DXBK and not all versions is doing that. That's why I showed you here. We go back in configure runner options here. In the LUG helper you can download and use this DXBK async 1.92 there. And then you will have that one also working. So let's see now. When you actually are launching um, star citizen you will notice something here as you can see here now it's launching uh, but there is one other thing here in and you will notice now the startup of uh, of this game is slow see now here how long we must wait It actually is working as you can see here uh, we don't have so many percent there but if we go back here to this one it said the game is running right but we cannot see it yet now because it's processing all of those shaders and all of those things to make it to work this process can take a little while and as you see now now it shows up here star citizen is actually coming up and now I'm not going to pause this video or anything so you can actually see how long it actually takes because this is something that made me a little frustrated before I was thinking that there was something wrong but it's not something wrong this is basically how it is because it has to do with all of those shaders and all of those things that need, need to be loaded and as you can see here now things start happening Star Citizen is coming up and everything start to load up but it's only a small window so in this case we have to wait a little more and just a little more now and you will automatically this one will go full screen I was also thinking when I was waiting for this window here before that oh no now I will not come any further everything will 
totally freeze here but actually it did not this video is just about star citizen and that you can make it run in uh, in linux and uh, uh, it's not so hard to make it to run if you're using the lg helper that i i will put the link to that one under here in the description and on my website so you can see there more easy how everything works see we are still waiting for this uh, star citizen to be finished and we are still waiting but he is actually doing something so you don't have to think something else just one second here we are still waiting isn't it fun to wait sometime now you think almost like it will hang when it stopped like it does here you can see up there on the screen that the fps is uh, frozen and also the cpu everything but usually what that means it will start going full screen now and soon it will be playable as you can see now it go full screen and here we are and as you can see here it says loading and we have uh, everything up and running here again so now we are going to wait for this one should not be long now and now we have the menu see voila so here we can choose different kind of modes what I will do here I will just go to the arena here and I'm just going to go single player just for the yeah the easy the easy way so free flight broken moon that will be perfect to just launch this game if you have problem with this game uh, fps drops like this it is normal with this game of course everybody's complaining uh, complaining about this also on uh, Linux and of course on Windows you can optimize the settings and if you go inside the LG website that I will link under here I will also link to the software and I will also link to the uh, to the how to so you know how to start and how to do your settings so you, it will work the best for you but now it's been frozen again but actually it is loading so it should just be a matter of time And as you can see up there again you start to have some movement about the CPU and the GPU everything is loading into place so let's see now here should not be long now and 
And it's still loading up. And as you can see now, now we are inside the game, like this. Welcome and to the space industries. Enjoy the ride. So what you should do at this moment, you see now, we had a very low FPS. Um, we will have a little low FPS in the beginning, when you just launch the game like this, you will have uh, a low FPS, but that one will be be better soon. So, so what we will do now, we are just going to. I think we just move forward. We just fly a little, okay? Maybe you are thinking now, oh, your FPS is so low. Yeah, I know. And also this, this game is very known for having extreme low FPS. So now, as you can see, we are flying here in Star Citizen. Flying. So where we should go? We should go towards it. We can just go towards this one. Just for fun. And you can see also Hannah after a little while when you have when you have played the FPS is yeah, pretty steady. This is like a free flight. It's only like a practice. If you want to see more, we can do that. You can go exit to menu, yes. back here again I think it was Storm Marine we can also go to yeah that's multiplayer it will take a lot of the time I just wanted to show you here another and as you can see it's it's working right Select ship. You see in my wallet I don't have anything. So we go back here again. Single player. Classic race. Yeah, okay, we take classic race. Yeah, in this one. That would be perfect. So we load, we just load another arena. So I will show you again. And if you're thinking what I'm using here, I'm actually using a, a joystick, a Logitech uh, joystick. Okay, so let's see. Let's fly. Wow, see? This is... Checkpoint. Yeah. And now we find another checkpoint. Checkpoint. Yeah, see? Another checkpoint. Um... Question is now, where am I going? 
Will I? Oh. Yeah, so as you can see now, oh, there it is. I am not so super good at this game because I am also a newbie. Checkpoint. I am a newbie in this game, so don't think anything else. Polisha. See now. If you have a collision like that, FPS will of course drop the first time. So we just try again. We go up there. I am not so good at this. I'm not so good at flying, I can see. But of course, same as in every game, you need to practice. See? Another checkpoint. So, alright. So, with this video, I like to show you here. You see, you can get Star Citizen to work on Linux. And it's uh, working pretty good. So, exit the menu here again. And after you run this game a, a little, everything will start to work better after a little while it has to load in so to speak so we quit this game yes and now we are back here in yeah in the launcher so to speak so what i do now i just click here and i quit and it says play here and now that one now everything is back so thank you for watching again and if you have some question you can of course have some comment or something i appreciate everything thank you